Yurikun. Anything I'm screwing up here? Doing just fine, Natsuno-san. You're a natural. This was his last gift to me. I gotta do this right so I don't let him down. Don't we have a bunch of bad guys everywhere already? Should we really be deployed all the way out here? Our Sentinels were designed chiefly for long-range attacks. I was taught that my primary tactic should be long-distance annihilation. Never give them a chance to close in. So if they do get too close, that's bad news? Well, we've got electromagnetic battering rams for both arms in case of close quarters combat. But we can't let them surround us. I don't know if we could fight our way out of that. Okay. Got it. Warning. Dymo signatures approaching. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. They're coming. Mirakun, they're coming! What do we do? Should we shoot? Stay calm, Natsuno-san. Get a clear look at the opposing forces. The enemy may have more numbers than us, but we can hit them all in one fell swoop. Mirakun, I'm... I'm kinda shook up here. We'll be okay. We can use the electromagnetic rounds. Shake them up instead. Look, Mirakun! They're coming at us in one straight line! <sighs> I'm in the perfect position. I won't back down. Looks 
like they're deploying wide-range attackers of their own. Let me check the Sentinel's data. Maybe we have a dossier in here somewhere. And there we go. A surface wrecker. Colloquially called a twin tail. Is that all we have? It's coming, Miracoon. Do we attack? Wait, I think we have new enemies inbound. Actually, isn't that... Sentinels number 13 and 15? Are they friendly? We're activating Aegis. This terminal will close soon. What? Juro kun You're in a Sentinel too? It is you, Nachan! We're here to help! No way! You too, Yuri? What's going on? Thank you, Juro kun I couldn't have asked for better support. We have to defend the terminal until the systems activate. Nachan, let's do this together! If 
that's true, the more targets they lose, the more desperate our enemies will get, and the harder they'll fight. Yeah, these battles are only going to get tougher. Seriously? No more enemies, right? Yes? usually a good shortcut, but it is so gross today. Muddy as heck. My shoes are soaked. What's up? You look bummed. It's nothing. Thinking about how no one talks to you again. Is that what's got you down? It's just because you're so quiet, Megami. People take that as you thinking you're better than them. Or that you're cold and distant. Not sure which is worse. They just need to get to know the real Megami. The one who's a hopeless romantic. And a cool, laid-back girl just like everyone else. Maybe then they'd have an easier time talking to you. Hey, you should try posting videos online like me. It could really help you come out of your shell. I think I'll pass. <laughs> you really are great at singing, Tomi. You watched my Inaba Rabbit video? Mm hmm I never knew you were so talented. <laughs> well, you're in luck. I'm posting a new one when I get home. Water. Probably just a car headlight. Nowhere. What the? You saw it too, right? Where did he come from? This guy 
I just pop you saw. October. No. The year. What year is it right now? Oh, it's 2024. <sighs> 2024. I must have been forcefully shifted here. The front line's been broken. <sighs> it's over. It's all over. Um, should I call an ambulance? Uh, who are you? Oh, um, I'm just from the school nearby. No. Then that means this place is next. I'm Juro Izumi, and I've come from the future. This timeline, they're coming. A cat. Oh, it looks so fluffy. Come here, Fluffy. Oh. Are you all right? You look a little lost. I was just thinking, in 1985, the West Building doesn't even exist yet. still fight. I have to go. N no you can't. I won't let you. Taking back that robot, trying to fight by yourself. It's not a good plan, Juro. You couldn't defeat them even with all your friends. It's true. I don't know if I'll be able to protect you all, but I can't do nothing. But you haven't even recovered yet. Megami, I really am grateful to you. So, this is goodbye? Uh, I hope that it's not, but... Megami, this is bad. Uh, Juro Izumi. They're here, just like you said they would be. And now monsters are flooding the port in droves. <sighs> right. Megami, tell me. I've told a woman named Morimura about you. When the time comes, you must listen to what she says. Yakushiji-san? <gasps> I 
I need you to stay focused. Miss Morimura, how is Juro doing? You must forget about Juro Izumi. The Juro you knew no longer exists. There was nothing else we could do. <laughs> From now on, you cannot go near him. But... It's for his own good. No, wait! <laughs> Juro! Huh? This is the school you attend. It is? How about we head back to the nurse's office now? It's important to take your medicine, you know. Stop. You have to stay away. He's Juro Karabe now. Not Juro Izumi. I don't understand. He is not the same person. Giving him a new identity was the only way to save him. That can't be possible. It was the only way. I'm sure he would agree. It had to be done. So for now, you need to stay away. At this point, he is still very unstable. Trust me. You're doing this for him. Not a kitty. What? All right, settle down. No need to make a scene. People are gonna start to think you're crazy. That cat just talked to me. I wasn't imagining it. This cat is talking to me. That's stupid. Cats can't talk. You might want to try thinking before you speak. Aren't you supposed to be smart, Megumi Yakushiji? How do you know my name? I know everything about you. You're the one who called me, after all. I... Did? Yes. And now I'm here to grant you your wish. Your wish to save Juro Izumi. <gasps> Looks like I hit the nerve. So yeah, I can do it. I can get his memories back. Don't believe me? Oh, of course you wouldn't. It does sound too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, I don't go around granting wishes for free. In exchange, I need you to do something for me. After you agree to a binding contract, that is. Assuming this isn't a dream, or a hallucination, or some kind of cruel joke, what exactly would I need to do for you? I come from another world, one that was destroyed. Destroyed by a relic of an ancient civilization. It is called the Daimos Code. Oh. It spreads like a nasty curse. ...and has begun to infect this world, too. I must find all the codes and set things right again. That is my mission. And the no big deal job you get to do. If it's so easy... 
Why don't you just do it yourself? You're not serious, are you? In case you haven't noticed, I'm a cat. You really want to leave the fate of the world to a cat? I don't even have thumbs. If I screw up, you're dead too. You're only damning yourself if you refuse. anyone about this they'd laugh and call me crazy I'm sorry but this all just seems so impossible there's nothing impossible about it <sighs> all right I'll give you some time to think about it I suppose it's a good thing you're skeptical instead of some idiot who believes everything she hears Make no mistake, you will accept my contract. It's just a matter of time. Uh. If it really is true, and there is a way to bring back Juro, then I'd make a deal with the devil if I had to.